Dexter Plays 7 Days to Die Alpha 15 by Fun Pimps. Welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die. Well, we have been running around in here having all sorts of fun with our cage, the zombie generator on the top generating all sorts of loot and quest abilities and stuff, you know. And as I've done that, I've kind of been noticing that this place over here is just taking a beating. And before I lose the hotel, I want to loot it. So that's what this episode is going to be about. We're going to go in here, we're going to loot. That's that's the whole deal. So, uh, what I want to do is I'm going to come through. Uh, I'm going to do a whole bunch of just uh, looping everything up. Um, I will clean up a little bit as I go. Maybe just, you know, cleaning up all the copper. Or not the copper, but the... Ah! Stop that. There we go. Uh, cleaning up all of the miscellaneous trash on the floor. Like this. Uh, and then I'm going to start working my way up. We'll see how far I get. Uh, I can jump outside and hit the lamp post where I've got the two chests sitting up there on the wall for other times as well. Um, of course, um, I'm going to clean the garage first. And then when I do my looting pass, um, I am going to go through and loot. I am not going to tear it apart with my wrench. I'm just going to do the loot. Uh, and then I'll come through and loot. Uh, not the loop, but I'll... Oh, nice. What, what's... Oh, I didn't I didn't search it. Um, I will come back through and, and grab all the other stuff as far as uh, one pass with my wrench and then one pass with the axe and pick. But again, I'm going to start off with just clearing the bottom here first. So I have a nice base to start with, if you will. And we'll see what we get. Um, I believe that I have emptied out those two chests outside, so... Um, I will use them exclusively, excuse me, words, exclusively to uh, store all the loot that comes out of here. Um, the only thing I might go a little short on is again the. Well, actually no, I was thinking about maybe putting gas in the in the mini bike, but I don't need to do that. Um, I've got like I don't know three days. What is it, the thirty seventh? Yeah, I got uh, up until one forty. So loot day, uh, hoard day is going to be hoard one forty, um, and then we'll be doing this. So I will. Uh, do the loot, uh, probably show you some of that, speed some of that up, cut some of that out, we'll see. Well, basically I want to make it all fit into one episode. And possibly even toss in some music to it as well. And, here we go. Garage is clear.
got so far. This is just strictly loot. Um, and of course, tearing up a couple of cars. Not too bad. I mean, I got, I got a number of weapons stuff in here. A lot of wrenches. So it's a great place to go for wrenches. Cooking pots. I actually had to scrap a number of cooking bot pots because I just didn't have the room for them. Uh, eat that can. I mean, I got lots of food, vitamins. I think I'll use the vitamins. Always good to pop up my health a little bit. I think it's by 0. 0.5, so that should be one total. So let's take a look at these uh, tools and gun pieces and BDU bottoms. I like that. Of course, I want to take the car battery. Cash. Always good. Um, and I'm going to load up my bike over here with some of this stuff. And then I'm heading back in. Yep, yep, I'm going back in. Uh, and when I do, I think when I, I go back in, I want to take a couple of wrenches with me. Sorry. Here we go. And we'll put the rest of this stuff back in here. Alright, so this pass is going to be... I think I want to make it a quick one, so I'm going to do axe run first. And then I'll come back and do um, the wrench run. Alright, so here we go again.
All right, after going through with the axe, we've got a little bit more, um, what did we get? We've got a bit of wood, a little bit of stone, uh, quite a bit of uh, cloth fragments. I had to stick some extra cloth, cloth fragments in there. We've got a bunch of leather, too. Where is it? There we go. We get 215 leather. Not too bad, I would say, overall. Not worth the run to go through there and do that with your, uh... Uh, to go through and, and tear it up with your, your axe. Unless you're just one of those people who likes to be completely thorough about clearing everything out. Alright, so let's go back through this one more time. Now we're going to do the uh, the wrench, and we'll see what we get with the wrench. And I'm going to hit everything that I can with the wrench to get the maximum number of components and uh, mechanical stuff and scrap. Okay, well now I have reasonably stripped this place down uh, of everything that it has in there electronics wise. Let me just dump miscellaneous, well there's, there's a lot of, uh, where'd it go, there it goes, cotton. Good cotton. Picked up a few things from critters as they came in and tried to bother me. So I'll put those in there, Mr. Glass. Alright, a couple of leather, there, now I got 378 pipes, um, some cloth fragments off the beds. 140 plastic, 197 components, all nine, 960 compo electrical components is nice. A few mechanical parts. I uh, certainly made a lot of scrap. And then I got a lot of faucets right here. That's great. 
and uh, Springs. And I think it's got a spot for Springs up there. Uh, I went through pretty much two full wrenches. I'll take these back and repair them. But uh, I think that was a pretty good haul. It's worthwhile to go through there with the wrenches because I could take this, like the electrical parts, and I can go back to Trader Joe's and sell those piecemeal and have a really decent chance of bringing up my skills. Uh, if you notice my barter skill, let's see if there is, my barter skill is 65. And that's kind of because I've been doing, you know, selling one electrical part, for example, at a time. And he doesn't seem to top out on that. At least I haven't seen him do it yet. So we'll see that, uh, how that all works out. Um, come back and join me on the next episode of Dexter Plays. I think the next one is going to be uh, 140. It's going to be the Horde. Guess what I'm doing? I just like doing the Horde from the cage. It works out so well. I get out there and run around and have a good old time. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching another episode of Dexter Plays. Please leave a like or subscribe and post any tips or tricks down below.